Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan, Dan, the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 59, Dead Until Dark, by Charlene Harris. This was a great murder mystery mashed up with a paranormal romance. I enjoyed the mystery aspect of the story. I haven't read many mystery novels other than Sherlock Holmes, and I want to read more of them. It's fun to have a mystery drive you forward through the story. I really wanted to know who the killer was, and I couldn't figure it out. When it was revealed, I was surprised and at the same time, it made sense. Charlene Harris did a great job dropping in little hints that I sort of just breezed over. Then when I found out who the killer was, I remembered some of these little clues hung here and there throughout the story, and it all made total sense. That's some good writing right there. The author also did a great job at something that surprised me. She made the vampires very scary, without hitting you over the head with it. Yes, one of the main characters is a vampire who becomes friends with the protagonist, but even he is scary. The rest of the vampires in the story are downright terrifying, which made every scene with one in it very tense. For those who are into it, the romance story was done well too, But that wasn't why I kept reading this story, and I actually had to skip some scenes that were a bit too much for my tastes. I liked the main character, Sookie Stackhouse, and her family and friends. I liked how high the stakes were in the action scenes because of the fact that the vampire characters were so powerful. A lot of people die in this book, and you never quite feel that everyone is safe, so there was always great tension throughout the story. I don't think I'll read the next one because this genre isn't really my thing, but I'm really glad I read this one. It was done very well, and I'm sure the many books in this series only get better. All right. Well, um, I kept hearing a lot about Dead Until Dark, and, uh, you know... A lot of times you you hear about a book so many times that you're just like, okay, I just have to know what this book is about. And that was one of them for me. Twilight was also one of them, but (laughs) unlike Twilight, this book was well written and had a lot of great uh, stuff in it. I've got some great news for you guys. You can get the audiobook of Dead Until Dark for free. And it's narrated by Joanna Parker. She has an awesome uh, southern accent. Charlene Harris is southern, I believe. And so it was just cool to, uh, probably for her too, to hear her characters through an awesome southern accent. And this book takes place kind of in the south. So you just have to go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. And you can get a free copy of Dead Until Dark, a Sookie Stackhouse novel. The first one in the series by Charlene Harris, narrated by Joanna Parker. And you can get any audiobook of your choice, and Audible pretty much has every audiobook out there available. For free, if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, but this week I'm recommending Dead Until Dark. And if you get a free audiobook, you also get a free 30-day trial of their awesome service, and you're helping support the show. So thank you, and thanks to Audible for sponsoring this podcast. Now, let's get back to that review. Alright, I wasn't really sure what to expect in this book. I could kind of tell right away that it would be not only like a supernatural slash urban fantasy horror novel, but also a romance novel. Uh, Not a romance novel, but, but romance was a strong part of this book. That's probably why it's so popular. That's why a lot of books are popular. I believe romance is the most widely read genre out there, at least in fiction. 
and probably in all genres. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, that, that that was handled really well. So if you're into awesome, dark, scary stories with some romance splashed in there, you'll love this book. If you're like me and you just want to know what what all the hype is about, I think the TV show True Bloods is based off these books. So if you want to do, you know, finally read the stories that were behind that show you've been watching or you just keep hearing about this novel like I have, check it out. Like I said, I don't think I'll read the rest in the series because it's just not really my thing, but this book was really well done. I really enjoyed it. I gave it a high rating and I am recommending it to you guys. So check it out. Um, that's about all I got for you guys this week. Hope you guys are having a great week of reading. This month has been an amazing month. I had my 10 year wedding anniversary. It's March of 2017. I've also been doing something that I just made up called writing every day in March. And I've coined the hashtag paint it red because I have a calendar and every day that I write, I paint a red X on that calendar. So I've been making blog posts about my writing journey this month of trying to and so far succeeding in writing every day in March. So you can go to dandantheartman.com and read about my writing journey. I haven't posted every single day, but you'll find a whole bunch of posts with a calendar with a bunch of red X's on it, and the more recent the post is, the more X's are on there, and there are no blank white days because I have managed to write every day, and I'm really glad I've set this goal for myself. I plan to try really hard to just do this every month for the rest of my life, because even if I have only five minutes in a day to write, at least I added some words to that book. And I've found that even if I have a bunch of uh, days where I only write a little bit, those words pile up and I end up writing a whole lot more than my usual habit of just grabbing free time that I happen to find, like a chunk of an hour or an hour and a half every couple weeks. So I'm writing more consistently and more importantly, writing every day really keeps my head in the story. So when I sit down to write, it's all still fresh in my mind. I don't have to try and remember where I was last time. You know, you still like reread a little bit before of what you wrote the day before sometimes, but I'm just still, my brain's always working on the story. It's so great. Now I know why people are always saying write every day. I always just thought I just don't have the time. I can't wake up early every day and write. But if my goal is just to write at all every day, so far I've managed to get it done. Sometimes I had awesome writing sessions of like an hour, and sometimes I had five minutes. But either way, I've been writing every day, and it's been great. And my novel is over halfway finished. I'm in chapter 29 of 50 right now. So I'm going to finish this thing in April. I'm going to publish it this year. It will be my first full-length published novel. I've written several others, but they're all trunked because I didn't know enough about story structure, and uh, they just kind of meander a lot. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to call it Haunted House Flipper. And it's about a guy who finds these magical tools that he can use to fight off and rid houses of what everyone thinks are ghosts, but actually it turns out they're demons. And demons are fallen angels, and angels have swords. So he is fighting a supernatural sword fight with demons with a magic sword. So he then realizes he could buy places that people think are haunted, that no one wants to buy, and people can't sell. He can buy them for a really cheap price buy this place up, get rid of the evil spirits inside, and then renovate the place and sell it for a huge profit. And, you know, they're haunted houses, so they're going to be mansions. <laughs> so he has a lot of money to make, but I'm having a blast writing it. It's really fun, and I hope that you'll pick it up sometime when I tell you it's available for sale. That'll be really exciting. It'll be my first full-length novel. You can pick up a novella, which is a short novel I wrote called Sword and Urn. It's a fun fantasy adventure coming of age novel. And then I have a sort of Christian drama crime thriller called Destruction Road, and that's a novelette, a very short novel. 
and you can get that for free as an ebook and you can get that as a paperback as well and sword and urn you can get pretty cheap as an ebook and cheap as a paperback i think it's 2.99 and 5.99 as a paperback so check those out at amazon or barnesandnoble.com and as ebooks everywhere else you can find ebooks for sale thank you guys for listening i hope you're having a great week and we'll see you next time mike take it away This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.